Hey everybody, it's Dave Turner here, and I just wanted to share with you uh, a quick little modification I did to my PV Palladium base. I'm going to do the same mod on my Dean Jeffrey Lynn base as well. I got both of those bases uh, just because I'm a huge uh, fan and also privileged enough to be a student of Jeffrey Lynn. And, uh, you know, I just had to have one of uh, each of his signature models. Um, and I love the base for the sounds that it can get. It can get that Jeffrey Lynn sound just by that uh, ha having that back bridge uh, on, <clears throat> for example. Uh, but I also discovered that this bass is really good for all types of heavy rock and, and uh, rock and roll stuff, because it has this big humbucker up here by the neck position. In fact, when I first got this bass, I thought, there was a problem with the wiring because when the pickups are both uh, on equally, it doesn't sound anything like what I thought a Jefferson bass would sound like. It sounds a lot like a precision. And when you turn the blend towards the front pickup, it gets even, even deeper. Called that mud bucker sound or something like that. <clears throat> But I've noticed that on some songs, I have a real hard time being happy with my thumb on this area of the neck or back here. I want a tone that's somewhere in between, or I want the string tension that's a little tighter than it would be here, but not as tight as it is back here. And I've struggled with this bass and the Dean uh, Jeff Berlin bass because there isn't really anywhere to put my thumb in between those two spots. So I, went to, I looked up on talkbass.com and I found a little tip for this and I went to the hardware store and I got these little clear um, bumpers like you would put on a cupboard or cabinet door so that it doesn't slam and they're they're totally clear they're about a quarter inch tall just the same height as the pickup they're about 15 mils square and I just measured the the, the places on my other bases where I like my thumb to be and I put a bumper a little bit to the left of that and a little bit to the right of that so I can kind of have a little bit of variety but in both places my thumb feels a little more at home than it, than it did before and when I go from the E string to the A string I can feel that little bumper there on my thumb and it feels like one of my other basses and the string tension right here is just right for what I'm trying to get. It's not as tight as this, and it's not as loose as this. So, a little tip for you. I'm gonna do this on my Dean Jeff Berlin bass as well. I like it because you really can't see it. It doesn't uh, show. You don't have to drill any screw holes or anything like that. Uh, and they're just peel and stick, and if I ever wanna take them off or move them, a little goo gone, I'll get that adhesive off. No problem, it won't mar the finish or anything like that. So anyhow, uh, check that out if you're looking for a solution, a cheap solution. Uh, to have like a, a clear thumb rest that doesn't uh, wreck the finish on your base or cause you to drill holes or anything like that. So uh, Ace Hardware has these for, what, $2.59, I think, for a pack of eight. Anyway, check it out, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.